Hey guys, today we're going to be installing KDE on Linux Mint. So, yep, you do have the option and it works great. You can, and you can have one foot in each world. You can have uh, both, in, both Cinnamon and KDE installed. So we're opening the software manager, searching for KDE. And we're going to click on KDE standard here. Take a look. This is one of the options. Um, we're going to look at the other option, KDE full. This is going to be more stuff, um, a bunch of software for end users. Well, we're not going to go with that. We're going to go with KDE standard. We just want to get the base desktop installed and test it out. Install the, the other stuff if we want it later. So we're going to go ahead, click install type in our password and here we go it's installing I sped this part up a little bit actually I sped this part up 40 times it's still even sped up this is taking nine seconds but this was actually 40 times longer than this anyways sped that up for the video now we're gonna go ahead and log out and log right back in so we're still using light DM here now let's go ahead and scroll down here and I'm gonna find the plasma the KDE plasma desktop so I scrolled through here a little, there we go, Plasma right there. Let's click on that and let's go ahead and log right back in again. And coming along is our first KDE login here. There we go, logged in, standard KDE desktop, just like it would look on Ubuntu or Arch or any other distro, right? KDE is KDE and here we go. Uh, you know, unless you have custom themes or whatever, but anyways, so looks pretty generic and standard. Let's go ahead and look for the GIMP. Let's just launch this. And at this point, we've got it working. We've got it installed and working. Everything is normal, exactly as we would expect. At this point, we're just kind of kicking the tires, testing it out, seeing how it behaves. And it behaves exactly how it does on any other distro. Um, so you got our files application here, uh, basically just checking out all the features and showing you how it behaves if you've never seen KDE before or if you're just not used to it, right? So yeah, we got like our themes, we got, um, what, what else here? Let's, let's go ahead and search for, what, what else, console? Okay, so we, we have to search for, so GNOME Terminal didn't come up in the search, I guess because it's not a KDE app. Kind of strange, you'd think it would be able to find any app on the system, even GNOME-based stuff. So GNOME Terminal, we got our GNOME Terminal there and we got our KDE console terminal there. So two different terminals. Now the GNOME Terminal has our, you know, our theming, like our transparency and colors, but the, the title bar looks like any other title bar running on KDE. So it's not pulling any of our GNOME themes over. So we're going to go ahead and right click and configure. Let's just change our wallpaper just to change it. Uh, we got a few different things here, pretty standard generic stuff. Have like photos, uh, more abstract stuff, standard KDE wallpapers and stuff, or I guess some of these are Linux mint wallpapers. I don't know. I, I know this one was there for cinnamon. This is one of our cinnamon wallpapers, or at least it was available on the cinnamon desktop before when I was testing that out. So let's go back in. What, what else do we want to take a look at here? Let's change. Well, we, we've got two themes. We got breeze dark and just regular breeze. We can apply the theme. There we go. Looks a whole lot better. Instead of generic default KDE, we have actual okay looking KDE. And honestly, you barely need any other themes, but there's a ridiculous number of themes. You make KDE look like whatever you want it to look like. And yes, yeah, so you can snap things to the side here, just like you could in GNOME or, or Cinnamon or, or any other desktop really, right? Bring it up to the top to maximize it and so on and so forth. So we got our themes, we got our wallpaper, we have our KDE software center. Now, when we tried out GNOME, we had our GNOME software center and also, you know, Linux Mint comes with its normal Linux Mint software center. So we, we got a pl plenty of different software centers and stuff like that. But yeah, we have KDE Discover for KDE apps and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and log out and log right back into Cinnamon, just the default with this version of Linux Mint. So let's log back out and see, we still have the option to run both desktops. So you wanna stick with Cinnamon, you wanna have KDE, maybe you wanna alternate between them, that's totally fine. You have the option and it works perfectly smoothly. Here we are back on Cinnamon. Anyways, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out. That's it for today, thanks for watching.